My name is Dave Tomlinson and I've written a book called How to Be a Bad Christian and a Better Human Being. And it's written for the hordes of people who never go near a church, who wouldn't dream of reciting a creed or singing a hymn, but who in their lives do actually follow the way of Jesus by behaving in ways that are compassionate and generous and uh, that are seeking justice in the world. The inspiration for the title of the book came from another book called How to Be a Bad Bird Watcher in which he basically takes bird watching as an activity out of the hands of the kind of geeks and the twitchers in their anoraks and with all their expensive equipment and puts it into the hands of ordinary people and says actually everybody knows a lot more about birds than they think they do. And in the same way my book is saying that religion doesn't belong to fundamentalists and regular churchgoers and you know people who are really into religion. Actually religion and spirituality are part of everybody's life but probably you don't recognize it for what it is. I meet people all the time who tell me that they're not very good Christians, who are apologetic for the fact that they don't come to church. And I'm always telling people, I don't think God cares whether you come to church or not. I think God is much more interested in the kind of person that you are. Uh, God has to be more sensible than to judge people by whether or not they're part of this religious club or not. One of my favourite bits of the book, really, and I suppose which, which summarises the whole book, is, is the idea of bumping into God, you know, finding God anywhere except in a church. For 10 years I led a church in a pub in South London uh, which was a gathering for people who had either given up on church or wouldn't dream of going near church but sitting in a pub over a pint or two of beer chewing the fat that was far more appealing to them. God doesn't live in churches contrary to popular opinion God lives in the world all over the place so whether we're at the cinema in the supermarket you know or just uh, you know watching TV or whatever we can bump into God all over the place. I always felt that this book needed more than just a pile of words in it, that it needed some pictures as well. So I asked my friend Rob Pepper, who's an artist, if he would do a drawing to go with each chapter, which kind of encapsulated what that chapter was about. I completely adore the cover of this book and the drawing that Rob did on there of this little cherub, uh, you know, a very Michelangelo pose, who is embracing a, a bottle of wine and there's a glass of wine by him. And uh, I just love that kind of mixture, you know. Religion and spirituality are much more a part of people's lives than they think it is. And I hope that what this book will do is to feed them on their journey and on their quest to, to deepen their experience of God and of faith uh, as part of their lives.